Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena and I like to talk about all things GAPS related. Food, emotions, non-toxic living, and really just creating a healthy home and lifestyle inside and out. Today I'm going to be talking about the many, many places on my body that I like to put kefir because I really believe that kefir is one of the strongest probiotic foods out there and that is super beneficial to your whole body and your health and your skin. And so I'm going to give you all the areas that I put kefir on my body. Some of them may seem a little bit crazy, but I just want to get it out there because I want to kind of break the stigma of all this other stuff and really give you skincare and body care that works, that's effective, but it's also pretty dang cheap and, and not something you have to go vetting companies to be able to find. So let's jump in. I love kefir. I've talked about this in a couple other videos, but kefir is literally like my favorite thing in the world. It has over 61 different strands of beneficial bacteria and yeast, and it's just the best. Honestly, when I'm debating what to eat or drink, I'm looking for what's gonna be the most nutrient dense thing I can have, and kefir is usually one of the top things. It's one of the things I like to tell people if you can't start doing anything else, just start drinking kefir. The probiotic industry out there is kind of crazy, but kefir is so affordable and making kefir is really just super cheap. So I put kefir not just in my mouth, but in a lot of different places on my body. And the reason is, is because it contains so many different strains of beneficial bacteria. Our bodies are made of microbes. We are microbial beings and our skin, as well as our gut, has a microbiome. And so our skin microbiome is just as important as our gut when it comes to taking care of it and anything that gets absorbed in your skin goes straight into your bloodstream. So it doesn't just go straight to your liver to get filtered. It really just goes straight into your bloodstream. So what you put on your skin is so, so important. Nowadays, there are so many chemical products and crap that the beauty industry has put on display and is selling you every single day. And none of it is, it's so hard to find the stuff that's really, really non-toxic and actually good for you. And when you do that, then you have problems of are the companies ethical and all that. And some of this stuff is just so easy to do on your own that it's like kind of like, why, why not just bypass all of that? So I put kefir on my face. So I will actually put kefir on my face as a mask, as like a face mask. The probiotics are starting to become a huge thing in the beauty care industry because their people are realizing it has all these anti-aging effects and it's known to reduce dark spots and wrinkles and and kind of revitalize your skin and work with different kinds of acne and things like that and the reason is, is because probiotics are so healing and they're actually you're giving your your skin what it needs to rebuild itself and so i've literally seen like a 60 dollars skincare cleanser that's probiotic formula you guys this is just like probably just probiotic capsules put in with their normal skincare chemicals, and you can make this stuff at home. You can really just make it at home. So I will actually just put it on my face like a mask and let it just kind of sit there and then wash it off with water and my skin feels super smooth after that. I feel like milk on my face and it's like the best. So that's one area I put it on my face. And then I will also put it on any kind of like rash. So if me or my husband ever has some kind of detox reaction or rash, I. I'm not trying to cure the detox reaction by putting kefir there. I am just trying to help support the skin microbiome as it's detoxing. And so I might put a little bit of kefir on maybe a spot of eczema that's coming up as I'm detoxing, because that stuff happens at times. I might put kefir on some kind of thing that might look like it's getting infected, because what our standard practice has taught us is to disinfect and get rid of every kind of bacteria, even though you really can't do that and your skin is made up of bacteria so it's really not good to do that so wiping your hand with alcohol or you know some kind of disinfectant isn't the best option usually putting probiotic beneficial bacteria on it to help to fight off any kind of pathogenic bacteria would actually be really beneficial so I put it on cuts I put it on rashes I put it on you know spots that look like they're detoxing I'm detoxing all that kind of stuff I will put kefir there and I even get ready kids I put kefir on my vagina okay I know I said the v word 
But here's the truth, Dr. Natasha actually recommends this for people who are looking to get pregnant because it can help with your fertility, but it can also really just repopulate the vaginal canal of beneficial bacteria so that when a baby comes through it, essentially what's happening is whatever, you know, the baby comes through the vaginal canal and whatever beneficial bacteria is in beneficial or pathogenic bacteria is in the mother's vaginal canal, it gets on the baby's skin, that absorbs through their skin, and that becomes their gut microbiome. And so the strength of a female vagina and its microbiome then actually gets directly reflect reflected in your kids and that's their immune system, that's their health. And so having that as a consistent practice for me is also me looking ahead and saying I wanna have children someday and I want them to be set up with the best health possible. Another reason why I do this is because I have had infections before, yeast infections before, UTIs, all those kinds of bacterial infections. I don't get them at all anymore, but I've had them in the past and I have have friends and siblings who have had them just on a recurring basis because they just can't get rid of it, whether it was because of birth control or because of some kind of other antibiotic that they took that really just messed with their gut and their vagina microbiome and all that. Putting kefir there can really help to restore that microbiome back as it's been damaged. I honestly recommend putting it on there every day, every day that you can remember, every day that's sustainable for you. Make it a habit, especially if you've had previous damage and you are prone to those kinds of infections because they're not fun. And we all know that there's not very many like natural options that work once you have an infection. So the goal would be to prevent infections in the future. This is just one way you can do that. Replenishing that microbiome is really important. If a baby has a rash, you can even put kefir on their little nappy area to stop that rash. I mean, honestly, Dr. Natasha says this. I literally put kefir Everywhere, you guys, I've used kefir as lube in sex. Um, I, we will just use it everywhere. And so if you have kind of, some kind of infection, kefir, you know, some kind of rash, kefir, I put it on my face for skincare, and I tell people who struggle with acne to not only drink kefir, but also like put it on their face, put it on that acne, let it just stay there, use it as a mask. It's one of the healthiest things, non-toxic, it's free free most of the time if you're making kefir and I'm all about making things sustainable and free and affordable and consistent and I just I love it. So you don't have to do, you don't have to buy or order another product. You don't have to spend more money. Just so use what you have. And these are some of the most nourishing things for your body and also for your skin. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, if you put kefir anywhere else in your body, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I make new videos like this right now on a regular basis. And I'm super passionate about walking alongside people as they heal and grow. It inspires me and hopefully brings encouragement to you. Thanks for watching.